I see Emma Duggan, Lake Nehemiah, Emma Kogar just left. First of all, through to an All Ireland final. How does that sound? Oh, it's unbelievable. Like the girls have worked so hard from the very start of the year. The girls that were involved last year just want to get back here so badly, and obviously the new girls in this year just want to get to Crow Park. And now that we're here, like you don't need me to tell you, you can see by the reactions. It just it means so much to the girls. There was bitter disappointment for a lot of this team losing the All Ireland final last year. Has that been spoken about? Has it been used as a motivation tool, or what was your understanding of what the girls went through last year? Yeah, I suppose it's in the back of their minds. You don't dwell on them things, but I suppose it was a learning curve for a lot of them. Uh, you know, first time Croke Park for a good few of them. I don't know they they didn't do themselves justice probably last year. So getting back here and being able to prepare for another All Ireland final now and being able to go out and perform now just means so much. So using it as motivation, I suppose, yeah. Looking at the first half, I think you went 1-3 to a point ahead, got off to a brilliant start after 10 minutes, and then Ross Common came back into it. Um, it was level 1-5 apiece, and, but the last 10 minutes, Meath really put down the foot, as they say, on the pedal, using the cliché off that. I mean, I think you scored 1-4 um, there without reply. So what would you have attributed to that, that response and towards the end of that first half? I suppose we knew Ross Common were going to come out like they have so much motivation, losing an All-Ireland semi-final last year, like it's not easy. Um, so we knew there was a train coming towards us. We knew we had to stay focused the whole first half. So I suppose getting a few scores on the board was really important towards the end of the first half to set us up nicely for the second half there. The second half, Ross Common came out got the first two points and then yourselves. You just really cruised through that second half. Did you think at any point, well, did you think it was going to be that easy or what was the message at half time from management in terms of your goals in that second half? I suppose we knew the second half we talked about like stay focused. This is a new half now. We had to come out, give it 100% and like they got the first two points, we knew there was a train coming at us. And I suppose that just opened up for us, we got the ball moving again, uh, tapped over for a few scores, but I suppose the score doesn't reflect the match at all. We know how good Ross Common are and we know that they'll be back again next year. You got a penalty. Can I ask you when you're standing over a penalty, like what's going through your mind? Because maybe it wasn't as crucial as in that, it wasn't going to put you ahead, you were quite ahead at that point, but what goes through your mind when you're taking penalties? Put it in the back of the net. <laughs> uh, I suppose against Wexford, I took a penalty and went into the back of the post. So I did. So, I suppose this time round, just wanted the ball to go into the back of the net. I knew that you know it would probably set us up a little bit. So, I have to stay focused and you know put it past the keeper. That's all that's gone through my head. Well, you did a very good job. You are of course Lake Nehemra, one five score by you today. And Marie Hickey, Uktaran Common Pal Gaelman is in shock. And grab them a run